hello and welcome back. Now, continuing on with Cross Story 2 here. Now that we've actually got these, well, factory to make the factory, we can actually go on and expand a few things to, well, increase the production throughput of that. So that first we'll grab some miners so we can actually expand out our iron and get quite a bit more done here. Fairly simple to just add more and more on to make sure it goes on. Just take a little bit to actually manually place everything down. But with all that done, we can get that in and increase our iron throughput a little bit for at the moment. Just going to need a split to be able to well, finish off this section here and get merged in. And then see where we go from here. I'm just checking. Look, yep. We've got an, enough here, but might expand also the smelting ray out as well. First, got to get that splitter in and then the well, electric poles, which are out of wood, so we need to get a little bit more so we can actually make enough electric poles to get that finish off. It's not too much. And yep, all that. Just go up here and finish placing these last few electric poles to get that going on. That other way, we can actually redirect the iron lines so to actually have, have a bit more space to go through and expand out the smelting ray here. Just go remove the old one old line and reverse this one up so we can keep it flowing. With that, we just throw down the well, sm furnaces and all the inserts to actually keep it going. But, again, I've run out of more inserts, but we have plenty being produced here. Just grabbing a few more and realizing that, yeah, I didn't add the iron sticks or the long hand inserts, so it's simple enough to just add it in somewhere where the iron is coming in, so that there and we'll need a long hand so to be able to insert the iron sticks onto the belt but do it that way and we'll have the iron coming through. That's done. Come back down and finish putting in all the inserts here. Now last couple steps getting everything powered up and also can't forget the middle row and we can also can't forget to set the recipe for them all so we can actually start smelting the iron. Now with that we can come here and Think about well, getting the research going a bit more. And also, we need more bullets, magazines to be able to defend against the buyers that are coming in. So, get a quick and simple well, rifle magazine up going and get that done. And now, now that we've got the Colvart line coming through, at least a small amount, we can actually just extend the uh, coal input and Make sure that the coal is prioritized to go down the to the well, steam engines. We've also got these well loaders, so I can actually plonk one down and get rid of all the coal that's actually in my inventory. Now that got a bit of research done and start taking a look at expanding a few things, expanding the smelting ray, but. We can do that, but we run into a situation, a bit of space situation. But that's easy enough to remove all the inserts because well, we've got it being made elsewhere. So with that done, go through and hook up the last of these steam engines and boilers to get a nice amount. And also got to reroute the power line around. So there's that. But with that done, you just go down and place everything in and the burner inserts. And it leaves just it going fairly nicely. Now, with the everything going on and the gun turrets and magazines going through, we can actually go around and set off a small perimeter just to be able to keep the buyers away. It's not going to be too much, but it'll last long enough. With all that done, come up here and get the top side done a bit of it up as well. Around of ammo before there, so with all that done. Now, let's go on and further increase our iron supply well, by mining out the rest of this iron ore patch. Quickly just make a blueprint so I can easily just copy it down. Just make sure it's relative so I can just click and drag and it will line up nicely. Now it's just a small matter of fact of going through and placing down everything I need to be able to do this. So go take quick minute to place down all the miners and the underground belts, not to mention the uh, small electric poles and the conveyor belts as well. 
but once that's done we'll be having a decent amount of iron coming through at least for now. Turns out it does fit quite nicely in here I can barely make it fit in. There's still a few patches that I haven't actually got to well, being mined yet but it's fine. It's not quite perfect but it will work. With a bit of clever routing I can bring this belt back in down here without having to deal with the cliffs. Get it all powered up and bang. Now we've got quite a bit more iron ore being mined here, which is good. Now, also go through and get the coal being expanded out. It's not too big a coal vein and I don't really want to deal with the mixed of coal and stone, but hey, we can get this down and expand it out quite a bit here, which is looking pretty decent. Now I just need to connect it up. That out of the way, we can go through and start making a full on proper smelting array, which is going to include about what enough to get a full belt, yellow belt of plates coming through. And because we've got the loaders, can easily just make use of that. So I don't have to have inserters coming inserting into the middle of there. So it does save a bit of power as well, but I need to do a bit of careful maneuvering of a few things. Can't really help it with that I'm needing a to load them into the smelters because plus you use splitters and all that, it'd be expensive and also wouldn't quite be perfectly effective, but can still get this all in and running quite nicely. Just gotta connect everything up and run the transport belts down. I had to place this carefully so I could get it around the damaged ship reactor, but with that we can actually get a second one down for what will be copper, and we'll have this first one being for iron. Maybe because the copper is already above it, so it's not too hard to add more in. Just a matter of going through and building up and seeing what is a good way to go about this. Which I'm thinking that's pretty decent enough. So. That's pretty good, and now I just go through and set the recipe for the iron. And because of that, I can actually go through and start dismantling the old smelting rig because I got the new one, and I kind of want to repurpose the buildings, and whatnot, from it to build the old one or the new one. And so that it actually allows me to cut back the copper line to where it's going to come in, so we can actually expand this out a bit better. Might as well get everything placed down. And so, yep, we've got the copper coming in. Still need to route the coal up, but get to that. And also need more inserters to be able to, no, more loaders to be able to unload from the furnaces. So that, all those down, with a bit of misclicks, we can actually go through and get the inserters placed down as well. It's just a little bit, but got that all done. Now to power everything. It's not too bad, just click and drag. And we also want to make sure that there's a bit of redundancy in case things disconnect. But now we can actually go through and get the coal connected up because, well, simple enough, just bring it up from here. Now the way we can remove the, well, ammo production and start thinking about, well, first off, I need to get the copper recipe in so we can get that going and now we can come through and remove the iron smelting ray column because same reason want to make use of these furnaces for other uses so just go through and remove everything here and then I can start redirecting the iron coal and whatnot and getting this to where I want it to be and with that I'm going to have to redesign, well, relay where the iron's going to come out. So that's fairly simple. We'll just remove the coal line here. And then have that going through and the iron all coming up there. It's not perfect, but hey, it works. Get the rest of the furnaces down for the copper. And we'll just dump the rest of the iron all we've got in our inventory down there. But now that we've actually got five belts that we need to, well, fit into one, we need to do something about that. So, 
first of all, just get the last of the iron ore being mined up here and come down. Just get the belts coming through. Forgot to actually place the transport belts here, apparently. So now we can go and grab a 5 to 1 belt balancer. Line it up so I can easily just place everything down. All these splitters and all the belts. And then connect the belts up and... Bada bing, bada boom. We see we've got like all five belts evenly, equally spraying into one belt. That done, we can actually come back through and reroute the iron yet again because, well, the smudging array is gone. And now, also bring the iron down so we get plenty of it coming through so the factory doesn't stop running. I was going to need to do that for the copper, so do a bit of rerouting of power poles and whatnot. And run out of belts, so pick up a few more, which good thing the factory's running. But now we've got the iron and copper coming through. But there's a bit of an issue. Only half the smelting ray is getting enough iron. So realizing, yeah, I actually need two belts. But that's not too big of a problem because we've got plenty of iron ore here. So we can easily just go to a 5 to 2 balancer and get that built up. Just a little bit. Very annoying without. Just having to do it manually, but it's okay. Get that all done, connect that all up, and we can connect, figure out how I'm going to connect this up. So I need to bring the second belt, half of the second belt into the middle of both of the sides of the array. That is simple enough, we just, well, catch up with the splitter and it, it works evenly. And with that done, we can go on for expanding the copper mine now. Shouldn't be too big of a problem, and yeah, looks like we can get all of it being mined out at the moment. So it's just the usual case of going through and, well, building it up manually, which takes forever, and also getting all the, rid of all the obstacles out of the way. For now, just getting all the intermediate stuff done before I get the miners on, because I feel it's a bit quicker doing it that way. That way I'm not having to dodge the miners. So, get the, well, electric, small electric poles down, and... Also going to need a 5 to 2 balancer here as well, because the same ratio and everything for copper as is for iron. So it's just a matter of make sure everything is spaced down and get everything going. So bring one belt in and figure out where I'm going to split this second belt. But I still have pay belts yet again, but simple enough to bring more in. And it turns out that the two gap in between the size of the broken ship reactor works out very nicely to be able to get everything going. But now, just need to connect the copper belts, all belts in, and set them all up with an electric mining drill to start mining out the rest of the vein here. So that done, just put the final few belts in, and bang, we've got copper. That other way, thing I want to do is start thinking about, well, getting wood. And the first thing I need for that is crushes, glass. And so for the glass, I need sand, so I need to make a few crushes for that. Which isn't too hard, I've already got everything I need, so just got to route them around to the other side so we've got an easy way of getting them in, but this works out with a few splitters and all that done. Can't forget the copper cables I need for it. But the copper is right there, so I can easily just branch off some off there and get going. Now, start removing the old well, tech card automation and research because it's not really suiting my purposes here. And I want to put something else in this position here. So, just remove all of it. Just very simple. And, yeah. So think about what going next. Now the other way, I can get in the smelting array for the glass. Now the glass doesn't need as many smelters to get a full belt through, full belt throughput. All we need is what? 30 smelters, so that's fairly simple. But it's a bit of an annoying one to get it evenly balanced, but hey, we can get everything done. Make sure that there's 15 on each side here and get everything else done. So, 
load to unload and that looks a bit more even doing it this way but I still want to keep it kind of consistent with the other one so that's fine just counting out and bring it to about the eighth spot where it's going to be loaded in and we'll do the same on the other side and get going and yeah realize that I did kind of misplace the lows there so I'll come back to fix it up later but for now I'm just going to get everything done there so that's all placed in and well, we are also making enough steam engine to be able to get a full steam engine array going because why not and here's where I actually fix it up to be more in line with the rest it doesn't look as nice but it is consistent at least. That's all well and good. And now with the crushers done, we only like what three of them to be able to get the enough sand throughput to be able to get the glass. Or two. That's no, just two. But we also need four to be able to get more, but we've only got enough miners down here to be able to get make use of two. So might as well just get that built up and Place in. Fearing the pole crushers almost fit in here, but I just need to reroute the coal line around. But then we can easily fit all the minor crushers in and just have them fed via well, the loaders, which then also unload via crush as well. That all done, we can actually get the glass being smelted in and feeding them all in. And it looks pretty good. Now, I just need to get enough glass to get all the greenhouses I need. It turns out to be about 23 greenhouses I need to be able to get a full belt throughput of wood. But that also means I need a lot of wood to be able to get the greenhouses. So, figured might as well mine it out here. And also, doing that, I could actually get it built up in here as well. Because this is still within the range of area that I marked out earlier with my turrets. We're getting enough wood here, we can make the 23 and also start expanding the steam engines a bit more by bringing some more on the other side. Which I will feed the water from the original one as well because, well, that pump's still got plenty of throughput it can handle for the rest of them. But just gotta get everything, and yeah, I need some more pipes to be able to get everything done. But doesn't mean we can't get half of it running at the moment, which we can't because we don't have the water. With that done, I can actually go in and start thinking about how I'm going to place greenhouses down. So we start off with like three, four rows of five and realize that, yeah, I can't get it in with three up there without mixing liquids, but because of the sheer length of them, I can actually have a two gap in between and be able to feed them all. So that works out nicely. Just need to make sure we set this all to growing wood and then got to figure out exactly how I'm going to feed the water in because eh, having that one on the end there doesn't really help out too much so I move it down by one and across and that allows me to feed the water into between and because they've all got through puts I can actually just have it simply connect up to the ends there and all the water gets through and now with a zigzag formation I can get all the would being unloaded very easily. So just a quick copy and paste and that is exactly what we're going to do. Place that down and bang. You can see this works out nicely here. And this is, should be enough for a full belt throughput of wood, which is very nice. Let's go and make sure I get everything placed down and our what, wind turbine onto the pump so it actually has power to be able to pump out with that we can see here that we've got everything going on and need to power up as well which simple matter of just like connecting up the everything to it that we have full bills we're coming through and with that we can actually go in and get our tech cards being a bit more automated here so the basic cards wood and copper cables so that's simple enough we've got the wood we've got copper cables and it turned out to be a case of 
one copper cable will feed eight of them. Same for the autom automation tech cards, but we also need to make the basic no, tech card frame or whatever it is, and the automation cores. And if you look at that, we actually had the automation cores down here, so it's easy enough to feed into the line as well. So all we need here is just iron and copper coming in for the last couple of things here. So we'll just make a combined belt and well, connect them up in somehow. First initially thinking I could load it up, but then I realize, oh, this one up here needs it as well. So we'll just have inserts inserting in and that will work out nicely here. Connect the wood up to the previously marked location and yeah, connect the water and steam up for the rest of the steam engines. And that is looking pretty good. With all the inserts in to load them up and powered up, we can easily see here that yes, we are getting enough the tech cards coming in. So we just need to feed them into our research labs here. Simple enough. Start off with an insert for all of them, and that's fine. So that I'm gonna say thank you all for watching. If you liked what you see, then you can always comment, like, subscribe down below, and if you want to, you could also come join me over on my Discord or my Twitch. I stream every day over on twitch.tv slash expert12 every Monday through Friday. And that, thank you all again for watching. Have a wonderful day in Sector 12. Signing out. See ya.